So, we're going to be making a Minmus probe, because Minmus is cool now. Uh, I'm in a Skype call with a couple of friends, so I guess they can comment. Um, should probably be sharing the screen so they can actually see what they're commenting on, but who cares about that? So, we have our probe, which will be powered by an isot isotropic generator. Or thermoelectric. Uh, radioisotope generator. And they actually use those in actual spacecraft, which makes a lot of sense. Um, so it's going to be kind of strange not using MacJeb to show me my thrust to right ratio, so I'm probably going to grossly uh, overcompensate for that. Because, well, it's actually I should be using a nuclear uh, engine for that, given that it weighs only a half a, uh, three quarters of a ton more, but it has um, almost twice as much, uh, it's almost twice as efficient as the uh, LVT 45. Um, so that'll be, I guess, our transfer stage. I'm not going to add more fuel, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how all this goes. Add this, add depth. Throw a jumbo, a Rockamax 64, or jumbo 64 fuel tank into that. A nice main sail. Um, I'm gonna want to put a couple of struts here, just to keep it from wobbling itself to death. Okay, it does that a depressing amount. That should be enough to uh, keep it functioning. I'm going to throw some radial decouplers on there. More jumbo Rocco Max fuel tanks with additional fuel tanks underneath them so we can do some as asparagus staging to give us lots of fuel. Uh, so that the, the main, all five engines will be firing at the same time while the external four will be the only ones actually draining fuel. The middle fuel tank will be untouched until it's uh, time, until the outer ones run out of fuel and we jettison them, uh, traveling to the next part of our interplanetary journey. Or not interplanetary. Uh, we'll still, we're given that we're going to Mimis, um, we'll just be traveling within the curb, Kerbin system, or Kerbin sphere of influence. And with that, let us see if this design has enough delta V to get us up into space. It, it'll probably be pretty close. Uh, I don't, I don't think this probe, this probe won't be able to get back. It's not going to be designed for that. But we should be able to get there. So, on to the launch pad. Time to throttle up and face our destiny. This, this will be a lot easier without MacJeb um, because of the uh, .18 update, which has introduced much more efficient, um, or rather, much more easy to use uh, transfer planning. So, firing all our mainsails, our G forces are spiking. I guess I can just drop in a little bit. Let's so get to 100. And well, about, about 100 meters per second speed, or a tenth of a kilometer per second. We're going to throttle back so that we're no longer accelerating. Oh, and I just realized what I forgot. I forgot an SAS. Shit. Ah, uh, without an SAS, this is going to be a very challenging and unexpected journey indeed. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna stay at about. 96 to 110 meters per second while we're still down deep in the atmosphere because that is roughly terminal velocity which is extremely wasteful to go faster than and and my friend likes trains are you talking about like Kerbal trains or just trains okay yeah no trains are pretty cool uh, in fact, I believe someone built a working train of some sort in the well, space program. I'm not sure how well that turned out. Uh, I know that the like the space truck turned out pretty well and could get to orbit. I think the, the, the Mun actually as well. 
but there are a lot of crazy things. If we look over on that island, it's kind of hard hard to see at this point. You can see it over there on the island up in the upper right. There's a little sparkling or something. We'll, we'll go investigate that, I suppose, uh, later in the future, because that is a nice little hidden bug, about, or not a bug, a little hidden Easter egg about 35 kilometers uh, offshore from the space center. So we're going to throttle up a good bit and go faster, like lately. Um, we're going to need to get into orbit at some point because that is our ultimate desire. So I'm gonna this would be so much easier than this, but we're going to uh, our, that's kind of a lot of G forces we're to, uh, under. Um, and this would be as I said significantly easier with the with an SAS. So we're traveling nice and fast. Um, I'm going to jettison these in just a second when they run out of fuel. Maybe beforehand by a second. Probably not. Okay. Almost running out of fuel. We're out of fuel. Alright, I'm going to cut that, see where we are. Our abscess is 161 kilometers. Oh, so yeah, 161,000 meters. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill for a bit. Uh, our ultimate goal is Minmus. Which we will get to, I promise. And then we're going to time warp a little bit. Oops, I reinstalled KSP before this because the orbital constructions mod was making things a little slow. Go ahead, quick, thank you. Um, or rather, the debris that I incurred trying to get, you know, 200 ton uh, space docks into orbit was rather impressive. Um, and that was slowing down my exploration of the, the Kerbal system, mainly on the launches. That was the irritating part. So, we're going to need to... I should have put RCS on this. Uh, otherwise, I may need to, well, perhaps abort this, given that the, uh, the robotic... Um, the robot... Uh, pro bodies are can generate very little torque, um, and that torque is fairly essential when turning the ship. Which in this case, it does appear to be. Let's see if this was. Yeah, okay, that's letting this speed up a little bit. This is going to be quite difficult. <laughs> It'll be easier when we eventually. Jettison the Rocco Max. Okay, going to oh oh too much rotation. We'll rotate back slowly, and then we're going once we get there. Going to use a little fun physics feature. It's not it's not a bug. It's a feature it's in the game. But we're going to use the time warp to slow ourselves down, uh, or rather to cut our angular momentum. And we're not fully at apple apsis yet, but I'm going to start burning. Oops, that's right. I keep forgetting I didn't put an SAS on. That's actually a rather noobish mistake, but I'm going to start firing our engine a little bit early, actually lowering our apple apsis, uh, so that our apogee won't be quite as high, and we'll convert TV. We'll convert a good bit of that uh, energy into speed t going towards our orbit. Not very well, um, but we still have plenty of fuel in this ro uh, Jumbo Rocco Max and the little <laughs> X200 underneath it. Um, so, I'm actually going to just coast to higher, or we're going to coast, whoops, I waited too long. Okay, well, now we're just going to fire our engine. And let's not do full, given that our, our G-forces are over, just getting out of the green. And with, because of how powerful the main cell is, it produces 1,500 thrust, well, because of how powerful it is, it can easily just 
rip through a ship if you accelerate it fully, and the ship isn't built well. We've, we probably have enough struts on, but those little probe parts are not the strongest. So I think avoiding those is probably a fairly good idea. Or rather, avoiding putting too much stress on those seems wise. Okay. So. We're going we're gonna to get there. Oh, getting pretty close. Alright, it's at 52. Oh, let's see. 61. 75. Alright, so we have reached orbit. Uh, we're going to, let's see. So it minuses the target. This makes it nice and easy. So our descending node is right here. We have to descend. Uh, 6.4 degrees, and this isn't very long. Oops, that's the wrong way. So as we get close, oops, yeah, that's too much. But the ascending nodes and descending nodes are going to decrease until they're pretty much zero. And in fact, if you do this again, so once you've got it, the 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 relative inclination basically down to zero. You then do it again, you can get it to say not or NAN, not applicable. Alright, so now we have this lovely issue of trying to get there in one minute and thirty two seconds. So I'm just gonna mash the button, turn the RCS off, because we don't have any RCS, despite RCS being incredibly useful. It's going to give us a little bit of thrust to See if we can't start going down, which it seems to be working. But we're going to earn our way towards Minmus. Oh boy, Minmus. Are you excited yet? So Minmus is basically way up there. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to get there. It might, need, it might take some time planning the orbit and whatnot. Um, but it will, we'll get there. Provided that this doesn't, you know, explode. Um, I'm not sure how much delta v we have left, but we easily have enough to uh, get our inclination right and then blast towards Mimus, probably just with this uh, Rocco Max. All right, We're going to cut our movement, time accelerate a couple seconds, and then start burning. Want to do this right? Want to do this good? Gotta have pride in our work. That's so why we're gonna slow down. Slow down. Slow down some more. Whoa, too high, too high, too high. Gotta go down. Gotta, oh, oh. <laughs> Given how little torque we have, this is exceedingly difficult. And let's see how, they, how that looks. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, we're going to get rid of that. And yeah. And then we're going to start planning our orbit, or our transfer burn. Oh, is that a moon cap, a moon caption? Oh. Let's see how this looks. Okay, that's not super great. Let's see if we can shrink this. Awesome. Oops. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. A minimus periapsis of twenty-two or two hundred and twenty-three kilometers. That sounds pretty good. Um. Where are we going? All right. I think we can manage to, to make this burn. Eight hundred fifty-five point five or six meters per second. Wouldn't be the first time. Alright, I'm gonna set us on times two speed so we can start moving towards that. Let's shake it a little bit. Don't like that too much, but we will get there. I mean, I would, you know, say failure is not an option, but when you're playing KSP, it really is. 
In fact, it's one of the easiest options. Uh, <laughs> the, usually, the amount of failures exceeds the number of successes by a, really, a, a good, a good factor. All right, so we're, we're basically going around the planet, uh, almost an entire orbit, because that'll give us a much better um, window at Midas. Uh, we're going in ten minutes, eight minutes. We're going to need to stop a little bit early so that we can uh, get this right, or rather, get ourselves aligned a little bit more towards the blue uh, maneuver indicator. But once we do, we'll be good to go. Let's increase time times two and slow it down just to speed it up again. So we're going to Go out until, um, let's say, 20 seconds so we can oops, make the burn fairly slow. Um, whoops, sticky keys, go die. Alright, I'm gonna turn on caps locked or fine controls. Um, uh, I don't want it on too much though. So, we're most of the way through this burn. As I said, this rocket max has a lot of fuel left in it. Because I couldn't, you know, calculate exactly whoops how much we wanted. Right, let's get rid of the maneuver. Um, but because I because I couldn't calculate exactly how much um, delta V I had and, and whatnot, I would have not been able to Calculate very well. Um, okay, so let's, let's do let's do the time warp again. So we're just going to do some warping. Warp, warp, warp. Times hundred, times thousand, times ten thousand. So we just ran out of a. Okay, the electrical charge is weird when you're doing all the uh, time acceleration using an is isotope generator. Um, if we had more storage, it probably wouldn't say it's an issue. But it does say it's an issue. So we're just going to spend about you know two days going out towards Minmus. It's actually a very short amount of time. Okay, so I'm going to plan a nice burn. Uh, that sounds pretty good. First, just going to figure out where that is. Good enough times four, just go in a circle. Uh, this would be much faster if we had some RCS. And the next time I do this, I should include some RCS, given that it's very, very useful for turning large rock and max fuel, rock and max fuel tanks. Pretty much every time you have um, a uh, Jumbo 64 tank, it's a good idea to uh, have. Some RCS. Come on, let's go up. Alright. We have a full hour to get aligned, but I want to get aligned beforehand so that we can then <laughs> time accelerate through the rest of it. Alright, there we go. This would be significantly easier, as I said, with RCS and with an SAS. Or rather, an advanced SAS, or even just a normal SAS. In fact, sticking those on along with uh, some RCS would make this a much easier mission, and we'd still have plenty of delta V for it. So we're gonna slow down. I don't want to overshoot. That is often the bane. Well, that's, where's Minmus? So we're currently facing. Minmus should be there. We go. There's a Minmus. At least I think that's Minmus. Or should we be closer to this? Oh, there's Midas. How can I miss that? Alright, so <clears throat> we're getting close to that uh, breaking burn. Unfo whoops, whoa, whoa, nearly missed that. Unfortunately, um Unfortunately Minmus doesn't have an atmosphere, so we can't aero break, but when you're traveling to other planets that do have atmospheres, it's possible to aero break and basically Save yourself 
a breaking burn, which is a lot of thrust. In this case, it's only 100 meters per second, but that is not very much. For some, at, at interplanetary speeds, you could be talking about a whole lot. Um, all right, so I guess let's go fly down a little closer. Why can't I accelerate fast? I'm not under any, any accelerations. Okay, thanks. So, I'm just gonna zip in here. I think actually we're gonna want to land on the bright side of Nimbus. So, we are going to do the time warp so that we can get ourselves into a nice break and burn. Spin around. Um, ideally, we want to deorbit all of the stages so that we don't have any orbital debris just lying around. Orbital debris is very irritating um, because it just makes it, the tracking center look so ugly. And we don't like that. We like it. We like it all to look nice and pretty. So we just cut that. So at this point, uh, we're going to jettison the Rock Max. Um, because, well, it, it's ugly. We're going to then time warp a little closer. Okay. We're now not very high. We're still not traveling very fast. Our debris is probably only a couple hundred meters above us, wherever it went. Oh, no, we're six kilometers from it. That's actually a pretty impressive distance. So, we're going to... Do a little bit of break-in, because we have so much excess delta D. In fact, we could actually just land this without being a cool probe. But we don't really want to do that, because, well, we're trying to land a probe there. This is not how a probe would work out to be. Mainly because the Nerva engine that we're using in real life is obscenely expensive. Um, which is part of the reason why it doesn't get operated or why they don't use them is because they're expensive and have all kinds of messy issues related to them. Uh, that being said, this is not really a very environmentally friendly probe given that it's, uh, you know, got an isotope generator. So I'm going to activate our, our lights and communication here at this point. Whoa, why am I not spinning? That's so not cool. I don't know why it's spinning. Uh, I hope we can get we, we have 24 kilometers to stop with the spinning. Alright, that stopped the spinning. I hope it doesn't start up again. Going to... Going closer before we do a final break and burn. Uh, and jettison this Nerva. Creating a nice radioactive crater for us to land in. You know, gotta make things warm. Alright, there we go. Accelerate down a little more. All right. Given that the actual uh, surface height could easily be a lot less than um, the displayed height, the true the, tr the true altitude we are at could be very low. So we want to be careful with that. We've slowed ourselves down to about 36 meters per second. I'm going to decelerate lower. Hmm. I think. At this point, I should really do more braking. Brake, 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 brake. If possible, I should try and kill my forward velocity, um, just because of how irritating that is. Without to, how irritating it is to kill that with a, without an SAS. So I should do that while I'm still a bit higher. Um, in fact, actually, that would make a very good place to jettison this engine is once I've killed my velocity, or my vertical velocity, or rather horizontal, not vertical, vertical is actually I'm fairly close to killing anyways. Alright, so I have pretty much killed, oh, 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 that's not good, that's not good, why, why is it doing that? I do not like that. So I'll deploy my landing gear, and, okay, is it, oh, it's trying to spin by itself. That's really not good. That can make it extraordinarily hard to land this. Alright, well. That's lovely. Why, why, is, why is it trying to do this? Oh, 
Oh god. <laughs> I have never seen this happen. So I'm, I'm going to, oh jeez. I'm going to assume that this is some kind of bug. I'm going to slow us down a good bit. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That looks like a very false surface. In fact, yes. Uh, we just failed the probe. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe we'll survive. Turn the lights back on. Uh, okay. Wow, we are spinning really fast. This definitely looks like a pretty serious bug. Oh, but because we're not actually tra traveling that fast except for the spinning, well, we are, it looks like we're going to be okay. We might lose the rest of the landing gear though. Uh, in fact, I'm going to retract that. I'm not sure that'll help. Mm, no, I, I should actually really have that. Oh, oh, we seem to be coming to a, a stop. Zooming out. Mm -hmm. Speed up time a little bit. Maybe we'll stop one day. Oh. Oh, it appears that we're going to be stopping sometime. Uh, I don't think I don't think turning on the brakes will actually help because it doesn't have any brakes. Uh, if this were a real space probe, it probably would not have survived. Okay. Well, and we're almost airborne then. Okay, let's. We cannot work faster than times one below. That. Okay, uh, why is it still spinning? Let's see if we can get a uh, some kind of scientific reading of some kind. Pressure, no. Score one for science. Oh, we lost our gravity detector. Um, let's see if we can see how warm it is. Uh, uh, well, with that, let's see if I can get it slow enough to let me stop at the space center. Hmm, this is very strange. I might have to post this video or give this to the KSP devs so they can be like, oh yeah, that's a bug, not a feature, and whatnot. But with that, I will, I suppose, sign off from our, our dancing uh, Minmus probe, which is actually really quite pretty despite being silly and spinning around. Also note the uh, the altitude it says it's currently 2800 meters despite uh, despite being <laughs> actually on the ground. So we sort of landed on a mountain. But yeah. That is that is how spinning Minmus Pro just rolls. It, it rolls like that. Mm. The spinning Minmus Probe. Still spinning, slowly. I can't get to the Space Center. Shit. 